it's so easy to overlook and there are girls working here look it's like 80 centimeters wide awesome view to wake up to look you can see the ocean there over here see this little small piece of blue that's the ocean look at her pretty shiny hair you could be a shampoo model do you know that pretty girl yeah you know they already asked you but you said no yeah your hair is exclusive right only salon brands <laughs> Oh, she's a chocolate bear. Ooh, awesome sunglasses. Look at it. Kim K, Kim K. Back in Amsterdam. Yes. I look like crack. I feel like crack. <laughs> no. Almost. Oh my gosh. Reddit is big. I can't. I've been dying. I've been spamming all my friends with this thread. It's hilarious. There's a guy who has like, I, I'll see if I can link it below because it's seriously, it's gonna make your day. If you have the same troll humor as I do, there's a guy, like I can't, there's a guy who is genuinely upset about a lot of people confusing um, a melt, like a melt sandwich, a cheese melt sandwich and um, grilled cheese sandwich. So today I learned T-I-L, Reddit. <laughs> I can't, this is like, seriously, I've been dying all morning over this. Today I learned, <laughs> learned that there's a huge difference and it's very important between grilled cheese and a milk sandwich. So, I'm going to teach you now so that we don't upset this person ever again. Today I learned, <laughs> every time I think about it, um, today I learned that a grilled cheese sandwich is only with cheese and if you add like one other ingredient that is not cheese then it's a melt sandwich and this is really really important because this guy is so <laughs> frustrated about it like oh my god and the comments the comments I can't like seriously the first comment is looks like OP so I think it's original poster is having dun 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 a meltdown <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and someone and someone else says it ain't easy being cheesy <laughs> and someone someone else, like this one's also very freaking hilarious I'm so sorry if you're religious and like easily offended but for me it's hilarious <laughs> the passion of the Jesus Christ and then Jesus <laughs> and someone else says or the passion of Jesus Christ praise Jesus <laughs> and then someone else says Jesus Christ <laughs> Seriously, Reddit's taking over my life. I am dying over here. So let's go on this walking tour. <laughs> Before I fill this walk with all Reddit like threads and stuff like that because I am addicted. I, Ivana, am addicted to Reddit. Yay, it's perfect weather again for a walking tour. I'm so happy when the sun shines in Amsterdam. Look at it, look at it. Yes, yes, warm me with your glorious sun rays. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we're going to start off this walking tour again with Central Station in my back. See it over there. Because this is where most tourists arrive. We're going to go to the left into one of the most popular or maybe like even the most touristy areas of Amsterdam. So last time we went to the right and now we're going to the left. Walk with me. Crossing the street, be very careful at this intersection. You can die five times, uh, two times by a car, one time by a tram, and then bicycles four times. Like if you're crossing this side, again, with a tram. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Walk, 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 walk. Yeah. 
So we're going, maybe you already guessed it, into the red light district. But there's so much more like the Newmarket area and the Waterloo plan. This is a really cool walking route as well. I need to protect the microphone because this view is too gorgeous, but it's very windy. Oh, Amsterdam, why are you so pretty? Ooh, pancakes. I haven't been here for a very, very long time. So some of the things or some of the shops are going to be a surprise for me as well. Pancakes. Yeah, I would eat pancakes here. Pancakes are my favorite food. I've got my bag zipped up, as you can see. Like I said, this is the most touristy area in Amsterdam. I think this is even more popular than the dam. Please watch your belongings because if anywhere in Amsterdam there are gonna be pickpockets, it's this area. So now I think it's gonna be quite calm because this is a Thursday afternoon. There are not that many people, but if you're here at night or maybe on a Saturday or something, watch your stuff. All right, so let's go into the street. This is the Warmoestraat, one of the most famous streets in the red light district. And I don't think, yeah, come in. Also a very famous restaurant. I used to eat here all the time until a TV show one time showed that there are rats in the kitchen. Yeah. So the food was good, but there was some extra sauce in it. If you're thinking about a hotel here, don't, really. Unless you like crowds, but it gets so crowded in here, like these streets get completely filled up and you really don't want a hotel here. If you want to sleep, like if you want to party and everything, like you can get a hotel, but I would definitely not recommend it. Yeah, I don't think that much is going to happen in the Warmustraat. Um, we're going to go into this little side street. I highly recommend you to take the side streets, it's fun. So this is the Oudezijds Armsteeg. And obviously if I come across any girls behind the windows, like working as prostitutes, I'm not gonna film this. So there's not that much to see in this street, but this is where the fun starts. The canals. And this is already so pretty. Ooh, look at the bokeh, look at the bokeh. I love the sun, man. This is also really cool. We have a small street there. Oh, actually, I wanna, I wonder, I wonder. I'm going to cross the street and see if I can find you one of my favorite restaurants, Matahari. I want to show you because it's a really, really good restaurant. I'm not that sure if it's here, but it's fun to be in these small streets anyway. Let me see. Let me see. What is this? should be somewhere here. If I can't find it right now, put the address below. Look at this. That's why I love going into these small streets. It's so cute and you end up in the most cute places. Look at this. It's almost like Venice, right? This way. Ah! Alrighty. Um, this is the street with the most restaurants, Zeydijk. Yeah, I didn't find Matahari. I will just put the address on below. It's here in the area, but um, yeah, I can't find it right now. And Zaydag has so many different restaurants. Also, there's a very, very famous Thai here. It's called Bird. Let's see if we can find that one. Oh, light dark. So this is for raw power food and stuff like that. If you're, uh, if you're working on your health and stuff. Yes, here we go. Thai snack bar bird. So this is really good cheap Thai food. And I think there's a like a legit restaurant across the street. Yes, here we go bird. So if you want to sit down for a meal, then you should go to the restaurant. But if you just want cheap street food, Thai street food, then just go to the snack bar. All right, let's take it back to Warmustrat. So I just walked into the Korte Stormsteeg, and it's basically like the first turn on the right once you've passed Bird. And we're back at the same canal. Ah, oh, here it is, Matahari. Yeah, winning in life. So, 
this is such a cute restaurant. They have really, really good food. It's affordable for Amsterdam standards. And it's just really cozy and everything. I highly recommend this place to have dinner. And now let's go back into the Warmerstraat, I guess. Yes, let's go this way. So this is the Cortenizel. Um, I think this is mandatory if you're in Amsterdam for the first time, Fable. You need to go to Fable. Seriously, if I would be a tourist coming to Amsterdam for the first time, I would just hang out at Fable. Look at this, all the Dutch snacks. So this is a case of lay, cheese of lay. <laughs> And then we have croquette. Have a croquette, it's really good. I don't eat meat, but um, it's with beef and it's so good. Uh, you can get burgers and let me see what else do they have. Ooh, ooh, a kipcorn. Kipcorn is also really good, so this is chicken. And then we're back at another canal. The view here is also beautiful, of course, because it's the same canal as on the other side. Just this part is a, a lot more touristy. And I'm gonna take you back to the Warmustra. I think I'm going to pass some girls now, so this is, I'm just gonna tell you the street and then you can visit yourself. So this is the Langenizel. All right, so this street is also quite decent. There's only a sex shop, it's fine. And some, you know, another sex shop. <laughs> and we're back at the Warmustraat. We're going to continue to the left, this way. People here are also not very big fans of cameras because obviously it's not the most like everything is legal but like the most illegal activities are here as well i don't know if it's the most but there are definitely some illegal activities all right so this is the enge kerksteeg and we're going to see something which is quite extraordinary in <laughs> such a place and it's a church yep there's a church in the middle of the area where prostitutes work legally. <laughs> Gotta love Amsterdam. Well, this looks like the coolest place to have lunch. It's called Cartier Poutin, which means uh, Poutin is bastard, I think, in French. So it's like a bastard uh, area or something like that. And you can just have a sandwich or coffee or something like that. It looks really cool. And we're just going to continue around the church. Aw, this girl was working and she was like, no filming and I was like of course not they're they're actually really nice and sweet but you have to be kind and nice yourself for them to be sweet because if you're not nice they can be <laughs> they can be very harsh as well so uh, I'm just walking around the church you see it and we're going to continue into the Warmustraat but I just wanted to show you like this crazy contrast in like the you know, the prostitution area, there's a church. I love it. Oh my gosh, and here's another cute coffee place. It's called Coffee Schenkerij, which basically means pouring the coffee, the place where coffee is poured. If anyone has a better translation, put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, they have breakfast, lunch, coffee cake, and it looks so cute, look at this. This is really hard to find in Amsterdam, like a small garden area, very cute. So this is called Oude Kerksplein and let's continue around the church. I want to show you like the smallest, how do you say that? It's not like the smallest but it's the narrowest street in Amsterdam. Um, let me see if I can find it. Also it's a little bit controversial to film here because you know if some men are visiting the ladies here and I film them by coincidence their wife might find out. Wife's wife or girlfriends. So I really have to be careful with what I'm filming, but it's uh, it's fun and so it's not that crowded. Like usually the streets are completely full when you come here at night. Maybe one time I will go with Stefan because, um, yeah, it's not as fun walking here as a girl alone. But um, it's not dangerous or anything, but it's just not that much fun. Wait, what? There's a Bakkerswinkel here? You can get one of the best high teas in Amsterdam here. If you want to have a good breakfast or something, or brunch 
go to the Bakkerswinkel. I didn't know they were open in the in the red light district. Nice, you can already see the cakes. Ooh, really good. This is really funny. Condomery. So this is a condom shop. Look at all the sizes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Also on this side we have the players. Um, I would recommend the players at Light Supply more than this one. But it's a place like where you go if you want to spend money, if you want to show off, if you want to drink champagne, all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit like very cheesy, but yeah, if you like those type of places, then this is where you should go. Gosh, and look at all the colors. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, so I've just turned around because I'm almost at the dam and I want to show you a little bit more of this area before we move on to the new mark. And um, let me see which street we're going to enter. Two seconds. So Kondomari and the players is in my back now. Yes, let's go into the street next to the Bakkerschwenkel. So what's it called? Let me see. Let me just see, it's called the, oh sorry, sorry, Sint Annestraat. There are lots of these smart shops in this area, so you can buy some mushrooms or weed or whatever you want. And they usually have it. See, most of the girls are not working yet because it's way too early. They really renovated this place because this is also like a really cute place to have lunch. Look at it. It's so cute. And it's called Ivy Ambrose another kennel and we're going to continue along where's this well the bulldog is in my back and th this is where the church is and we're going to continue to the right along the canal I really want to show you the narrow street so I'm looking for it but apparently it's not that easy to find I'm not sure maybe it's across the street do you see like the narrow opening between those buildings over there that might be it let's see so now I'm at the bridge again this is the outside for wall where I'm walking right now and we're going to cross the bridge this is not it either I'm gonna keep looking but in the meantime let's just cross the street and here you have another sex shop yes the ladies are open for business in the street um let's see where are we going to go let's go to the right so we just passed the stove stay and we're going to continue along with the street. I'll tell you in a minute. This way. Oh, you can buy all kinds of hemp beauty products over here. So this is Hemp Story. Really cute. Hemp is actually quite good for you. And if you're very interested, there is a hash marijuana and hemp museum. Yeah, never been there. I don't think I would recommend it. So this was the outer sides after Berghua where we just walked and I'm going to turn left. We're just going to keep trying to find the narrow street. <laughs> it's really cool to see. And another really cute place to have coffee. Look at this, Coco. So this is where Borat got his swimsuit from. <laughs> it's another sex shop over here. There's a strip club if you're into that. Regarding to the girls, most of them look really, really good and they have fantastic bodies. Uh, but there are also like, um, like more voluptuous ladies or um, all kinds of races, whatever you like. There's something you can find here. I'm definitely not promoting it, but you know, if you're into it and it's their business, who am I to judge, you know? Oh my gosh, the banana bar. I've heard stories about this place. Yes! I've got instructions how to get us to the most narrow street. So the banana bar is behind me. I've turned around and we're going to cross this bridge over here. They go this way. And as you can probably guess from the lights over here, there are girls working. So um, I'm just going to cross the street over here, going back to the church. This bridge is full and I'm back to the church. So then I'm supposed to go left. Uh, how could I have missed it? It's so narrow. It's very easy to miss. So I'm back at the bulldog and it's supposed to be here somewhere. Lol, I just walked into the cafe and it was so awkward. It was so dark and there were all men sitting there. And I was like, I'm just looking for the narrow street in Amsterdam. Can you please help me? So it's supposed to be here somewhere like just after the bulldog. Another bulldog. Um, let's see if I can find it. Yes, I found it. So this is the bulldog and this is the little lunch restaurant that I showed you. It's over here. Look, it's so easy to overlook. 
and there are girls working here. Look, it's like 80 centimeters wide. You have to experience this. Well, obviously, if you're claustrophobic, this is not your place to go, but look, it's so narrow. This is like, can you see? It's super narrow. And um, yeah, so there are some girls working over there on those sides, but um, yeah, maybe I can yeah. film like this. I would not recommend this at night because the street will be completely full and it's already like very narrow for two people to pass. Look at this selfie. Look at this. I should make a selfie here. Wait. That was cool, right? So I've turned to the left now and I'm going back. Like I'm going in circles all over the place. So I'm just going back to the Ivy and Bros intersection and then we're going to continue to Newmark. I wouldn't recommend you to like take the most efficient route here. It's really the most fun, like I'm doing it right now, like being all over the place and just walking around and discovering new stuff. Don't worry about it too much. And I'm back at Ivy and Bros. Going to continue to the right now. Let's take this bridge to the left. It's always so much fun crossing these bridges. Amsterdam is showing off for you. It's saying, come to me. <laughs> you have to visit if you haven't visited yet. Look how beautiful. And let's continue again into this alley. So this is the outside for Brechois. And this alley is called nothing because oh look at that cute street sign um yeah well you recognize it by the street sign and the sex shop sign let's cross this bridge too let me take you to Newmarket to the right after the bridge and then i think we can go into the street can we yeah so this street is called no idea look for the shop Adivantes and then into the street we turn left to the Newmarket area this is an area with lots and lots of restaurants and it's so much fun because yeah it's it's usually also very crowded but yeah it's definitely worth seeing the Zaydijk and Bird the restaurant and the snack bar are over there and we're just going to go this way because I want to take you to Waterloo Plain, which is also a cool market. Turn right into the Sint Antonis Breestraat and just continue straight ahead. There's not that much to see in this street, but Waterloo Plain is fun. In this street, if you're interested, this is New Hoogstraat. You also have a zipper, uh, which is a vintage store, and another couple of vintage stores as well. So if you're into that, um, there are a couple of those over there as well, but we're just going to continue straight ahead to Vatilo Plain. Oh, look at this! This is cute! All kinds of gadgets. Oh, look at the massive ducky! <laughs> it's huge! Look at my hand! Now, when you reach the next canal, just crossing the street over here. Hope the wind is not bothering you too much. Oh, that was a really nice cyclist. He didn't curse me out. <laughs> We're going to turn right here down the stairs and the market is going on right now. It's, I think it's every day. Matilo Klein Market, you can buy all kinds of stuff here. They have uh, vintage stuff, but they also have new kinds of stuff. Lots of leathers, um, souvenirs. You can buy them for cheap here. Like in the center, it's definitely more expensive. This is also the center, but it's a market, so you know, things are always cheaper. Uh, we have an episode vintage shop over here. Uh, there's a kilo shop a little bit over there. It's a really cute market. I highly recommend it. I used to go to school in this area, and every time I got off a little bit early, I used to come here and just wander around in the vintage shops. You can even buy like a vintage wedding dress if you wanna. <laughs> it's just really cool to walk around here and see what kind of crazy stuff they're selling. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you where I went to school in a couple of minutes. Once you're finished here, we're going to continue along the canal and I'm going to show you one of the, the best places, if not the best place, to sit outside when it's nice weather in Amsterdam. 
Now we're going to cross this bridge to the right. Look how cute. This, this is the Stahlstrat. So let's see if my iPhone can save us because the battery of my camera died. But maybe this will work as well. So I just crossed that bridge and I will just continue to walk straight. Yes. Now you will arrive at this bridge and let's cross this one too. So I promised to show you where I went to school or actually college. And it was over here. Well, actually, let me see. It was over there. It's called the Oude Mannheim Sport and it's the University of Amsterdam. I studied law and like way over there, I studied communication science as well. But that's close near to as well. It's a lot further. And now we're going to turn to the left. Uh, yeah, here we are. Café de Jaren. Um, it's usually more known for the for the college students who come here to have a drink or a coffee or something like that. But they have like seriously one of the best views in town. Let's just go inside. It's a huge place, so usually what you will get a spot, but the VIP spots are limited, of course. And when I'm talking about VIP spots, I'm talking about this. Their terrace at the Amstel. So as you can see, um, there are not that many tables. In summer, there are a lot more tables, but now it's winter, it's quite cold. But when, it's, when the sun is shining like this, and you can sit in the sun, this is one of the best places to sit. Check it out. So, um, Rembrandt's plan is over there, and there are lots of tourist boats, like canal boats, coming in here. It's such a nice place. I love being here. And it's also quite calm in the middle of the center. Look at this, how cute. Love this place. So, I just ordered some tea and I'm going to work here for a little bit. I'm home and in the meantime I've cooked dinner as well because my battery died so I just recharged the battery and this is what we're having for dinner. It's very colorful. Let me show you. Oh, there's a random cucumber over here. So this is sweet potatoes just boiled in cubes. These are bean burgers with some corn and just simple broccoli. Delicious and healthy. Alright, I'm signing off. If you like the vlogs, please put a thumbs up so I know you like it and don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't. There is still a lot of traffic to my channel coming from a search in YouTube. So that's quite inconvenient if you have to type in Enterprise Me TV every time. It's not like the easiest name or whatever. So just click subscribe and you'll get all the updates automatic. Thank you so much for watching, for spending the day with me. Nappy, see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Chinese. Ready? Yeah. Let's get started. Okay, let's do it. Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay, it's official. We have to go to Vietnam. <laughs> Holy snap, look at this food.